My name is Abdullah Labwani. I'm, uh, I'm a Syrian. I came uh, to UK last September. I got scholarship. I moved from Turkey. And I have big dream. And I hope that I started my dream here in UK. That particular shoes I needed for a special uh, using. Uh, because I'm kind of person that I like to walk. Uh, especially in, a, in, in, in the big cities. That shoot I bought it from Istanbul. Istanbul is very big city, very crowded. Uh, uh, using the public transportation is very annoying sometimes. So I used to walk so much. And the old city in Istanbul, it, it, it has very old stone on the ground. So without comfortable shoes, especially sport shoes with a thick uh, base, it's not way it's it's not comfortable to walk for long uh, for a long time. So, but here the weather is so cold and sometimes it's uh, it's raining all the day. So I couldn't use it that much that I used to have it in Istanbul because now I don't have home. And the idea of home it was changeable for me last five years. I left Syria in 2012. Actually, I left home for for one hour. And I was going back after one hour, but I couldn't go back because the the, the Assad regime started at, attacking my town at that time. So I left home, but for just one hour. But so far, I don't expect to get back to my home in the next five six years. I moved between four five countries before I settled in here: uh, Egypt, Jordan. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit sick. Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey. But that shoes I bought it for the home that I expected to be in Istanbul. I think, or the most thing I like in these shoes is in the bottom it has very small green squares. Green squares. So I pointed out to these shoes and, and I asked the guy to put it in a bag and take it. So the guy went to the store and put another shoes. The same model, the same stuff. When I went back home, I opened the shoes and I, I saw that the the bottom is is not a green square. It's a, it's a brown square. That was a big issue for me actually. It was a very silly point, but I don't know why I get back. Say that's not the shoes that I choose, which is the same model f f yeah. from the top. <coughs> but why I insist to have this small green squares? in the bottom, I don't know. So, he changed it for me. Yeah, I mean, every day you have small goals for this day. It's contribute to, to the big dream you have. So, every day, I mean, every night when, when I go sleep, I put little plan for tomorrow that I'm going to meet that one, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to finish this work, this amount of work. So, before I go out from my home, I put a schedule in my head now what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do, achieve these small things. The first thing, how I can catch the bus here in Oxford. The bus here is very scheduled, so if you miss the, the bus, you have to wait another one hour. And especially, I like walking, but here it's, it's always raining, so I, I, I don't have choice. I have to use buses. So the first thing I think about it, I still have two minutes to catch the bus. I tie my shoes and, and run out to catch the bus. I liked Oxford because it's between the international big cities and the countryside place. It's quiet, it's clean, organized, and at the same time, it has international people. It's a small town, but it's it's full of young people, full of energy, dreams, yeah. So, at this point, I, I like it in Oxford. But yes, sometimes, yeah. I mean, be, before before I judge anyone, I, I put myself, yeah, exactly. I, I do that many times. Be, before I I take reaction or, or judge people, I put myself in their position. What I will do if I'm, if I'm him? Sometimes I felt it's really complicated to do that because everyone has his own 
mechanism to take a decision which is affected all over the time of his life, his background, experience, emotions. So I can't exactly be like him, but at least I can imagine from from which background he came from with this decision or, or this reaction. We're not able to change up our beliefs in terms of our customs, traditions, uh, anything, Islam, Islamic ideas, the, the Christian ideas that we have in the Middle East, any kind of religion also. We're not able to, to open the bab, uh, I mean, uh, the door of it, of it changes easily. We always fight for our ideas, which sometimes it's not correct. Here people are more flexible than me, than people in, in that region, because they have this culture of, of listening to the other people before before taking the reaction. But I believe that everyone should open that door widely for changes just to um, fill the gap between people around the world because otherwise we'll keep divided or we'll keep separated from each other, fighting each other. So I don't feel that I'm not at home here. I feel yeah, safe, I feel comfortable and I wish if I can spend more time in this kind of atmosphere or environment. Yeah, <laughs> actually, in Syria we used to call it, or, or the international community used to call it, the kingdom of silence. We spent last 60, 70 years in the big jail. This regime put us in a situation that we are spending all our time just looking for food. We are working 16 to 17 hours in a day just to, to provide the basic needs. We don't have enough time or money to look abroad or to see what other people do. They don't have any idea or clue what's happening outside. This opportunity, this revolution, unfortunately when people had to leave the country because the situation and they, they want to uh, save their children's life they had opportunity to, to move out to many places like the countries around Syria or sometimes as you see in the news they put their lives in risk to just go to Europe or to any other safer places so <laughs> I mean for the people who are uh, listening to us right now these people they didn't have a chance to go outside before. They don't know uh, how to deal with, with other cultures, which is not their fault. UK or Oxford is the farthest place I moved to all over my life. I mean, it was Istanbul before, but now I'm in UK. No, I'm kind of, uh, of a person that I'm op optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm really op optimistic. And uh, according to the, I mean, um, regarding to what happened to us in the last five years, we faced the most brutal life or b b brutal um, phase of the life in Syria. So whatever we face here, it will be much easier than what we had then. So I'm, I'm quite op optimistic. Uh, but that does not mean I'm seeing the life here is so easy. It's really difficult. It's, uh, it's full of obstacles challenges and other kind of like uh, normal life issues. Um, my goal is to work in international level on development issues on, on the Middle East. I want to be one of the influence, inf influential person in the international politics, international development initiatives or or, or projects on the Middle East, but I will do I will do my best, and I will not be sad if if if, if I'm not able to achieve it because I did what I can.
I'm not in interested to leave impact on someone or in this life when I leave, but uh, I would I would hate to leave someone is upset from me if it is my fault. If if I did something wrong to him and I left this life before I fixed this. I like watching people actually when 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 I'm walking watching their fashion, watching their faces, their behaves in the street. Because it's kind of understanding person which is I I I really like and I'm very good in it. So if you put yourself in my shoes and and you took this long journey every day watching people was talking, eating, waiting in the bus, you will see how I see people. And sometimes Sometimes, not all the time. I I judge people from from their look, from their faces, from their which, which is not all the time good thing. No, most of the time I get wrong. But yeah, you will see that how I how I look to the people. You, I'm looking for to improve my skills here, my professional life here in the UK for the next three years at least. Improve my English language also because. It's one of the important things, and so I will use these shoes to climb up the stairs of the professional life here in, in the UK. Uh, not for a long time, just for three, four years, and then I feel myself I'm, I'm gonna go back to the Middle East. No, going back to Syria, it's something definitely will happen. But spending all my life in Syria, because to be honest, it will not be stabilized in the short period or, or in short time. It will take five to ten years. If it's gonna like limit my my life, my dream, I'm not gonna stay there. If if the Syria, if Syrian situation in 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 that time, I mean after. It's gonna be like again uh, a kingdom of silence, or, or gonna limit my my uh, my dream. I'm not gonna stay there. No. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>